Hola. Buenos días. Muy bonitas. And welcome to a new video. Yeah. So we're in Ica. We yeah. took the, not the night bus, the day bus. Yeah, day bus. From Arequipa, which yeah. took 12 hours. 13 hours. 13 hours. 13, 13 hours. hours. But the views were amazing. I ah, also really good views, and a nice sunset along the way. Wow. We'll, uh, maybe we'll put a video eh, of, the, yeah, of the sunset yeah, yeah. on the way here. And now we're in Ica, we're in Takama now. We're in the, uh, one of the oldest uh, Wine. wineries in Peru. Yeah, <laughs> and they produce Pisco, Pisco as well. Yeah. Because Pisco is a national, uh, national Peruvian uh, drink. drink made of grapes. Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to do a, a, a nice tour? wine tour. So, yeah. And then <laughs> we want to eat something here as well because yeah. they have a restaurant. Yeah. So, should be nice. Yeah, should be good. <laughs> Take you along with us. Let's uh, go. <laughs> wow. Hmm? So it's, beautiful here. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> there are four different tours, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're gonna do the Grand Tour. Yeah, the it's Grand. Called. Takama, uh, Takama Kata. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, with, yeah. with the Kata, you get the uh, uh, wine. wine yeah, lesson, lesson from uh, from wine sommelier. So yeah, it's gonna be good. And it starts <laughs> at 11:30. Yeah, the English and, version. English, English. So it's a bit easier to understand. <laughs> yeah, so it's a very nice site. It's a, uh, it's a bit. It's about a half hour from uh, uh, city of Ica. Yeah, something. But uh, it's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's very beautiful here. But yeah, the wine should be very good, the pisco as well, so I'm very curious. Yeah. It's, it's the oldest here in this region. Yeah. The oldest vineyard? Yeah, and one of the oldest in, in, the, in all of Peru. So, so yeah, it's gonna be good. Very fancy. <laughs> I don't really like wine, so I'm yeah, So I, I'm gonna get the double glasses. <laughs> yeah. No, but I want to taste it. Uh, taste it. <laughs> hey, here we have Takama. Okay. So this is the oldest winery in all uh, Latin America. Yeah, so all uh, South America. All South America. Yeah, because the Spaniards brought uh, the grapes here. Yeah. But before that, they used to um, farm coca. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> First, they uh, put the grape juice in there. Yeah. For 13 days, and then yeah. they move it to another. Yeah. Uh, how do you say it? Tank? Tank, yeah. yeah. Let it uh, fermentate and yeah. it builds up gas. And then they can taste it from the top. But yeah. they can't open the tank because then it would damage the wine. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. So they can only taste it when it goes up to these. So over there you see that the cup is filled. So they can uh, have a little taste and <laughs> see if it's good enough. Only the more expensive wines are uh, right on the barrel. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's a lot of wine. Yeah. And they even export it to Europe, France, Spain, who produces their own wines because it's so good, they yeah. say. And there are only uh, five regions in Peru that can make pisco and call it pisco. Ah, yeah, it's the, it's the same like uh, champagne, only can. Call it in champagne when they made it in yeah. France. They made sparkling wine here. Yeah. They, they cannot they... call it champagne. And the it's same... the same with pisco. Yeah. They can make pisco here, yeah. but they can't make pisco in Bolivia. Yeah, no, it's, they can't it's call. A, they can't call it that. No, it's protected to the yeah. name. The <laughs> copyright. <laughs> so this is the uh, old winery. It's now a little muse museum. Museum. Uh, uh, uh. Because they don't use these machines anymore. No. Uh, it's yeah. very nice to see. Yeah, the machines that they all used to use. Wow, all the different kinds of techniques to to oh, make a wine. Look how beautiful it is. It's oh, yeah. so beautiful in here. Yeah, it's a very, very beautiful winery. Or a big hacienda as well, no? 
Yeah. It's called Hacienda. I don't know. <laughs> and it, it smells so nice here. Yeah. From the wood <laughs> and the wine. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> About the old wine barrels. Yes. Now they have the small ones like like that one. Uh, yeah, like that one. And they put it seven and a half meters underground yeah. to produce a very nice wine. It takes two years. Yeah, it's the expensive ones here in uh, Peru. So these are the old uh, barrels. They're not using these ones anymore. No. 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 Yeah. Very nice to see. And now we're gonna take a look at uh, ah, the the, wine. the the bottle where they put the wine in the bottle. Yeah. I forgot the name was called. And they can do that by forty bottles of wine per minute. Per minute. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a very impressive way to see. Yeah. Like sommeliers yeah. and everything. And, and then there's the family who owns this place. Yeah. This. <laughs> and they even have a church, but uh, it's a new one because the previous one got destroyed by the earthquake in 2007. Yeah. I think so they had to build a new one. Yeah. It's very nice. That's so the floor is still original, but the rest is new. <laughs> rebuilt. Yeah, rebuilt. Yeah. Well, This is the, the starting phase. They don't start from a seed, they always yeah. start from a branch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, no. Call it the nursery. Yeah, yeah. The nursery. The nursery, yeah. The nursery. Yeah. But <laughs> to grow European or other grapes, they have yeah. to. Yeah, we call it Anton. I yeah. don't know how it's called. They, they, they put look. two branches uh, with each other. Yeah, so the local branch and then. Yeah. And they, they cut it and, and add a. Uh, European branch. Yeah. And then you get a, a new plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And it takes about three years for the uh, plant to be fully grown ah. to be able to, to collect the grapes to make yeah. wine from it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That was the tour of the, the winery. Up, the winery. Yeah. And now we're gonna taste something. So. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be the, the tasting. Come on, back in school, you know? And in a laboratory. Yeah, because I said it by technology, it's like. <laughs> so that was a wine tasting? It was really nice. Yeah. Even though I, I don't like wine normally, the sparkling wine was very nice. Yeah. All of them were pretty good. I can only like, feel them a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can hold the wine to Jeroen. <laughs> Which is... 42% uh, alcohol. So it's, it's very strong. <laughs> but not very big no? drinkers. Yeah, yeah very good uh, experience. And, uh, yeah. The wine taste. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to get something. Yeah, the, the, the tour and the, the wine mm -hmm. tasting is over, so now we're gonna eat something at the restaurant, which they say is it's very good as well. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> if, the, if the food is as good as the tour and the wine tasting, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. <laughs> mm. 
We just finished our lunch and now we're gonna take a taxi back to the city. Yeah. It was very nice here. I really liked it. Yeah, it's a, it's a good place to come, you know. Yeah. It has some history in it. It's it's the, yeah, the, the first old, one. Oldest. Yeah, and the whole of Why? South America. Yeah. So it's very special. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> If you want to hold a wedding, you can make it here. <laughs> it's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, let's go back to uh, Ika. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked the video and be sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you in the next one. Bye.